Joe, and I'm here to talk about temperature and solubility. The inquiry that led to our experiment was which water temperature dissolves airborne tablets the fastest. We recalled a couple prior experiences in which we tried to dissolve it in water, one of which was in room temperature, which took quite a while. Another of us recalled dissolving it in hot tea, on the other hand, which was much faster, which led to our claim. The rate of dissolution of the airborne tablets is directly proportional to the temperature of the water in which it's dissolved. And now I'll hand it over to the evidence. So first we boiled one cup of water. <coughs> <laughs> and then we pour it into the clear glass so we can see exactly what's happening and how fast it dissolves. I'll do the 21 to start it. Just as soon as it hits the water, then it starts to Okay, yeah. And we're just measuring to see how long it takes the Alka Seltzer to dissolve in the hot water. So, as you see. Really fast. Oh, it's still there. Oh, it's still on top. Smells good. <laughs> I'm in line. I hate the taste of this now. Ready. Stop. That took 39.8 seconds to Pretty dissolve fast. in the hot water. Next, we're going to do the room temperature water which is, this is measured out to one cup, and this has been sitting out. i move this over. We're going to also pour this in the same size cup. And then once again, we're going to drop an Alka-Seltzer tablet in there to see how long it takes. Ready? Mm -hmm. Set. Go. Oh, wow. As you can see, it's a little bit slower. We should tell jokes. It's still going. I don't see the I think it's on the, it's on the bottom. Yeah. yeah. The tablet and the hot water rose to the top, but now it's setting on the bottom. As you can see, the bubbles are forming from the bottom and reaching the surface. Yeah, once enough of it dissolves, the the tablet, the tablet will float to the top. Will float to the top because it will be less dense than the water. Yeah, and we're already over time uh, since the hot water. The cold one's gonna be a while. I'm gonna shake it just so to see if the tablet's still in there. And as you can see, yeah. it still is. You can still see bubbles. Yeah, it's going. And I think it's almost... It's still going. You can hear the fizzing if you listen really closely. Which that means it's a chemical reaction. <laughs> Very good. A chemical reaction is happening. And we can stop. That took 1 minute and 39.9 .9 seconds. So <laughs> it was about 1 minute over the hot water. Now we're going to go with cold water, which we have in the freezer. And it's measured out to 1 cup. Clear to see that one though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It 
it's still going. The tablet's still in full form on the bottom. You can see it through the water. Just to compare it to these cups, this is the room temperature and this is the warm. This one's still... And you can still see the, see the steam from that well, one. steam, and then these are more yellow because they're a lemon-lime flavoring. And this one's still kind of a white tint. Just about at a minute. It's still going. As you can see, the bubbles are a lot more subtle. You can see it on the bottom. And if you listen closely, you can kind of hear the fizzing, but... Here, I'm going to listen closely. <laughs> oh, I can hear it. It's, it's more, it's really quiet, and it's a much slower process. Much slower process. We're at a minute and 39 seconds, which was our last one. Time oh, for the yeah. room temperature. <laughs> Sorry, I totally snapped. Our last um, measurement. Bottom. We want to shake it again just to see. You can hear the fizzing once again. It's still in there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You can see from the top. Maybe mm -hmm. an overview. Yeah, if we can go from the top. Let's see. I see some bubble action there. Mm hmm So. It's a good minute past the mm -hmm. room temperature one. Yeah, it's still going, which will probably take a little probably bit of time. another couple minutes. But the variables used in this materials used in this experiment, we used a pot for boiling the water. Obviously, the three different temperatures of water: um, the boiling, the room temperature, and the cold. Um, the measuring glasses to measure one cup of water for each different temperature of water. Um, three identical clear glasses, three airborne tablets, which are right there, and we used a stopwatch just to measure how long the Alka-Seltzer took to um, dissolve in the water. Which the cold one is still going, yeah, by the way. Yeah, the different solutions. You can tell by the colors a little bit. It still has the foam on the top of the water. And we also made sure that we used um, one cup of water in each uh, scenario to make sure it was a fair equal experiment. and a fair experiment. <laughs> the only thing that changed was the temperature of the water. So our constant variables were the amount of water. And All right, I think it's just about done. Yeah, the only thing that we changed was the temperature so of the water, which determined the different dissolution rates so the final time for the cold water was three minutes and 55 seconds three minutes and 55 seconds and here's the three different um water temperatures we have the boiling the room temperature and the ice cold and once again we measured the boiling water at 39.8 seconds one minute and 39.8 seconds, and three minutes and 55 seconds was the cold water. So those are the three different measurements. So I think it's pretty safe to say that our, we supported our claim with the evidence. Which our claim, again, was the rate of dissolution of an airborne tablet is directly proportional to the temperature of water in which it is being dissolved. And as an added note, if you look into Science Source, a student handbook, mm -hmm. there is a little chart or graph in there that shows a nice little curve going up. As temperature goes up, the dissolution rate or solubility goes up. So it's another little piece of evidence just as a bonus to reinforce ours. And that concludes our experiment.